continue to worship God the Holy Ghost, He will remove all of those things. He will reveal the Holy truth to you. Of God in the earth today. Holy Ghost, your God in the We're going to be talking about today. knowing the Holy Ghost as God. You know, the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today, and you walk with Him by saying words. Well, I don't like it that way. Well, then you need to be in some other dispensation because that's the way it is in our day and age. Are you here? Yes. Oh, that sounds crazy to me. No, well, that's the reality of it. Now, what we need to do is get you there. Mm -hmm. Say, get me there. Get me there. There's a lot of people who aren't there. Holy Ghost is God in the earth today, mm -hmm. and you walk with Him by saying words. We need to get people here. And I've been thinking about this. You know, I've been preaching this message of the Holy Ghost being God in the earth today and walking with Him by saying words and worshiping the Holy Ghost for several years now. And you would think in the natural you go years well come on what's going on what's wrong with you you know there's been plenty of times in the past where it took years and years to get a message to come to the forefront and then all of a sudden it was there and people say oh it seemed like it happened overnight well it was the longest overnight you could possibly imagine yeah. what are you not going to preach what god wanted to bring into the earth how about noah for instance it took him years and years and years to build that craft our timing is not God's timing but listen God has a place and a time and a way and you just need to stay hooked up because it shall be great are you happy about it yes. I'm happy about it so I'm not gonna be discouraged because it seems like whoa because ho, ho. we know I hear people online and I see it starting to take effect and people are starting to catch the message yeah. you'd think after 2,000 years they would have got it by now Holy Ghost is God in the earth today but at the same time you had the devil and all these religious people trying to squelch it mm -hmm. but we're in that last day and this is happening now say it's happening now. it's happening now and I'm excited about it so anyway 2nd Peter chapter 1 verse 20 knowing this second wait a minute knowing this third what does it say first. knowing this first you think God is big on first things yes. yeah because if you don't know this you can't know other things and if you didn't start out at the beginning you're gonna end up at the wrong place mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. knowing this first that no prophecy of the scripture what is that well that's that what you're holding in your hand the prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation know this first verse 21 for the prophecy came for right he said know this first for he's gonna tell you why the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man meaning man came up with it this is a good idea no by the will of man but holy men of God spake say spake, spake. holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost you got to know this first what are we knowing first here at least today fellows is that the scriptures were spoken by the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. isn't that what those scriptures just said yes. you got to know this first so when I read verses of scripture who spoke them the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost. So if I'm reading the scripture and it applies, do the, does the scripture apply to you? Yes. Yeah. Who's speaking to you? The Holy Ghost. because he's the one who said them. Mm -hmm. So every time you open the Bible and read something, you know, and I, oh, it speaks to you. Who just spoke to you? Holy, Holy Ghost. You should know this first. Does everybody know that first? No, no they're thinking something else. Mm -hmm. All right. This will be a massive revelation to some people go to second Timothy remember we got to know this first We're talking about knowing the Holy Ghost what do we know about the scriptures they were spoken by the Holy Ghost are you here yes. did I make that up no scriptures were spoken by so here we go verse 16 second Timothy chapter 3 verse 16 all scripture how much scripture all scripture is given by inspiration of God we just read that right yes. 
of God God who do you suppose God the, God the Holy Ghost because it specifically said that all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable that the man uh, profitable for doctrine for reproof for correction for instruction in righteousness that the man of God may be perfect thoroughly furnished unto all good works mm -hmm. it said the Holy Ghost spake the scriptures and here it says they were given by inspiration of God God who the God the Holy Ghost is this too difficult no. and it would be good because we're in the dispensation of the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. so the one who spoke the scriptures is actually in the earth right now in our day and age isn't that great mm -hmm. yes. the first way to know the Holy Ghost and we're probably going to go through several things here but knowing the Holy Ghost as God as the author of the scriptures are you getting this yes. so when I open the Bible and I read it he's speaking to me now you're in first second Timothy right go to first Timothy first Timothy chapter 6 and verse 17 charge them that are rich in this world who's he speaking to me. you charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high-minded nor trust in uncertain riches but in the living God are you here now according to what I just said who's speaking to you right now the Holy Ghost God in the earth today he says trust not in uncertain riches but trust in the living God who are you here mm -hmm. the living God who does your Bible say that yes the living God who well who's the living God the he's the Holy Ghost but here he's gonna tell you who he is he describes it he says the Living God who mm -hmm. you can even put a question mark there who the Living God who gives us richly all things to enjoy mm -hmm. who's this talking about it's talking about the Living God he's talking about the Holy Ghost are you here yes. the Bible specifically calls the Holy Ghost the Living God you're the, what no you're not your body is the temple of the Living God mm -hmm. right yes. so here's the Holy Ghost in his scriptures talking about himself he's speaking to you through this verse of scripture and he's revealing himself say revealing himself, revealing himself. he's revealing himself to you through this verse of scripture and what does he say he is who gives you richly all things to enjoy do you know the living God as God who gives you richly all things to enjoy he's revealing himself to you yes. are you here yes. is this any good yes. does it matter that we know it's the Holy Ghost who's revealing himself to you yes, yes it does so he's the author he wrote these words he spoke these words to reveal himself to you he's revealing himself through these verses of Scripture and you can know him as whatever the verse of Scripture says this one it just particularly talks about him providing you with all things for your enjoyment mm -hmm. would it be good to know him as that yeah. Yeah. but first you got to know him that he's the one who wrote that mm -hmm. right all right so I won't go through all of these we might end up doing these in the future but the Holy Ghost he's revealing himself can you see that yes. John 14 26 you don't have to turn there it says he teaches who teaches the Holy, the Holy Ghost teaches when he is come he will teach you all things we're talking about knowing the Holy Ghost John 14 26 is a scripture it's saying that he does these things when he is come he shall teach you all things he leads you who leads you the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost leads you Romans 8 14 says the sons of God are led by the Spirit of God Romans 8 14 mm -hmm. the scripture he spoke the scriptures and he's talking about himself he's revealing himself to you through the scriptures are you getting this yes. so I said he teaches right teaches you all things he leads you sons of God are led by the Spirit of God he speaks Acts chapter 13 let's just look at that one real quick people need to see this one Acts chapter 13 verse 2 as they ministered to the Lord and fasted say fasted, fasted. that's not a very exciting word in the body of Christ but it's it's in there 
as they ministered to the Lord and fasted the who said the Holy Ghost said now I know that there's prevalent in most of the body of Christ there's this doctrine and idea that the Holy Ghost won't say anything about himself and he won't speak of himself I'll go I'll deal with that in just a second but that is ludicrous based on all the things that I've just said all scripture given by him and he's speaking he's revealing himself to you revealing who the Holy Ghost the Living God God in the earth today and here it says and the Holy Ghost said separate who me Barnabas and Saul for the work whereunto I have called them well if the Holy Ghost doesn't he just spoke of himself are you here he's talking about himself he's saying hey separate me Barnabas and Saul for the work whereunto I have called them say I have called them if you said those words that string of words I have called them you would be talking about yourself yeah. you did something you talked about yourself oh so that verse that other verse of Scripture can't possibly mean that the Holy Ghost doesn't talk about himself you understand this yes. I'll take you there in a second let's let's continue on here he speaks he does speak you understand we yeah. see him speaking here separate me who the Holy Ghost the person of God the Holy Ghost in the earth speaks he empowers acts chapter 1 verse 8 you don't have to turn there it says you shall receive power right I'm just talking about the Holy Ghost and saying all the things that we know through the scriptures that he does and he obviously spoke about himself because he's the one who gave you the scriptures he teaches he leads he speaks he empowers acts chapter 1 verse 8 you shall receive power by who the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost. He anoints Luke 4 18 said he hath anointed me Jesus said that about the Holy Ghost he empowers he anoints he quickens say he quickens. he quickens quickens means he makes alive are these good things to know about God the Holy Ghost yes. yeah we're talking about knowing the Holy Ghost so Romans 8 11 says it's the spirit that dwells in you and if his spirit dwells in you he shall quicken make make alive or renew the youth of your physical body who does this Holy Ghost would it be good to know him yes. That's what we're talking about where do we get these wacky ideas from just reading chapter and verse where do we get these chapters and verses from the Holy Ghost speak them and he's revealing himself through them to us speaking to us are you getting any of this so in all of this in all these scriptures and more he is speaking here's one go to first Corinthians like I said we'll see how far we can go with this today know this first no prophecy prophecy of the scriptures any private interpretation holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost so they spake what the Holy Ghost wanted them to say now let's look at ver, uh, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 1 now concerning spiritual things or spiritual gifts brethren I would not have you ignorant who's saying this the Holy Ghost he's saying I don't want you ignorant and then he goes on and he says thing after thing after line after line about what the Holy Ghost does he's speaking about himself right and then look at verse 11 but all these worketh that one and self same spirit dividing to every man severally as he will are you getting this yes. who's God in the earth today the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today so all these work if that one and self same he's a self right yes. we'll just cover this real quick I hope that by now all of those things that I said should tell you that the Holy Ghost does not only speak of himself he reveals himself to you so you can know him as God are you getting this so John chapter 16 let's look at verse 13 how be it when he say he, he. how be it when he what's a he a is a person he the person the spirit of truth now this person is the spirit of truth what does that mean 
if I asked you what somebody was if they were in, and you said they were the spirit of truth would I assume that they could tell a lie no. could they say anything other than the truth no, no because they're called the spirit of truth well lo and behold that's exactly what Jesus was saying here he said well how be it when he person the spirit of truth is come he will guide you into all the truth for he shall not speak of himself what that makes no sense mm -hmm. if that's the true definition of this word of this scripture then all of the things I just said about the Holy Ghost talking about himself couldn't be true but they are he shall not speak off himself it should be or away from himself and that very Greek word is translated away from in many other things now think of it he's the spirit of truth he can't speak anything but the truth he can't speak away from the truth himself yes. you know you swear on the Bible I'll tell the whole truth nothing but the truth mm -hmm. right so help me God the spirit of truth yes. that's what it's talking about here mm -hmm. and whatsoever he shall hear what will he hear he'll speak truth and he will show you things to come are you getting this mm -hmm. and I bring this up only because whenever you start talking about the Holy Ghost revealing himself and speaking about himself this verse of Scripture comes up it even I don't know it's done it to me a thousand times you know, what about that it's a like immediate knee-jerk reaction from the devil yep. and from religious tradition because it's been preached like that for eons immediately that verse of of scripture is translated into you shouldn't worship the Holy Ghost and you shouldn't pay any attention to him because he doesn't speak of himself <laughs> you see what's going on here though it's immediately the devil's trying to take it and flip it mm -hmm. so that you can't have a relationship with the living God who's God in the earth today okay. and when you say you should worship the Holy Ghost this verse of Scripture mm -hmm. are you here yep. comes up in your own head comes up why because we've been religiously taught that wrongly and frankly I say it's evil why do you say it's evil because it, it's it's anti Holy Ghost what's one of the worst sins sinning against the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. but this I'll say right here even if this verse of Scripture even if it did say that and it did mean that he won't speak of himself which is ludicrous it doesn't mean you shouldn't worship him and it doesn't mean he isn't God think of that you're going I'm gonna start worshiping the Holy Ghost he said oh he doesn't speak of himself even if he doesn't speak in himself he's still God and he still should be worshiped and I tell you if you continue listen if you continue to worship continue to worship God the Holy Ghost he will remove all of those things he will reveal the truth to you he'll remove all of those old religious things so but he is speaking of himself. am I getting this across at all go to Revelations that's easy to find it's right in the back uh, chapter 2 and verse 7 now mind you this is a vision of the resurrected Lord Jesus Christ should that be a pretty profound revelation yeah. shouldn't his words carry a little bit of weight yeah they're in red in my Bible in fact right <laughs> chapter 2 let's look at verse 7 Jesus is saying he that hath an ear let him hear what the Spirit saith to the churches mm -hmm. he was saying listen to what the Spirit is saying to the churches do you know why because it's not Jesus's dispensation now the authority is the whole is to the Holy Ghost dispensation so he has the Holy Ghost speaking to the churches oh but the, he doesn't speak are you seeing how ridiculous that is yes. well anyway the book of Rev uh, chapter 2 verse 7 he that has an ear let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches look at down at verse 11 he that hath an ear let him hear what I the Lord Jesus am saying to the churches is that what he said no, no he said he let him he that has an ear to hear let him hear what 
the spirit saith to the churches look at verse 17 he that hath an ear to hear let him hear what the spirit says to the churches mm -hmm. is this getting old yet go to verse 29 he that hath an ear let him hear what the spirit says to the churches so you can see why it's such a big deal for the devil to try to say it the Holy Ghost isn't speaking about himself right goes on in chapter 3 many other times so this is where we should be beginning remember I said first say first you got to understand the scriptures were by the Holy Ghost speaking so when I read a verse of scripture I have to first is this getting across I have to first know that it's the Holy Ghost speaking to me and Jesus said he that has an ear let him hear what the Holy Ghost is speaking to him yes. and that's how I get to know him is by him speaking to me are you getting this this should be the beginning you know and I pray about things like this I say God show me the beginning because if you don't have the beginning right you will not end up at the right place and the problem is we've got so many in the body of Christ who have begun in the wrong place and they're gonna end up in the wrong place not that they're gonna go to hell but it's that they're not gonna be able to complete what we're called to complete in the earth with the Spirit of God so many people try to begin somewhere else you got to begin at the beginning first know the Holy Ghost is talking to you say first, first. The, beginning. the beginning is is the Holy Ghost God in the earth today a good topic to preach on mm -hmm. is it a good thing to have your ministry built on yes. I would think so he's God in the earth today mm -hmm. Acts chapter 2 talking about where's the beginning the beginning uh, Acts chapter 2 and uh, let's look at verse 1 and when the day of Pentecost was fully come they were all with one accord in one place and suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind and it filled all the house where they were sitting and there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire and it sat upon each of them and they were all are you here verse 4 and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began where's the beginning they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began now if everybody's up to a, a, they're gonna run a race and I say and begin right they're all up to the line where does this say they began it's in your Bible well, I don't like to read it that way I like to read right through that into the other verses well so do I but here it is and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began mm -hmm. when did they begin oh I think you're you're making this too simplistic it is simplistic you're making it too complicated where do we begin we begin with receiving the Holy Ghost who's God in the earth today well I don't like it that way I believe it's some other way I'm telling you the scriptures all right mm -hmm. where does it begin they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began yes I know it says and they began to speak with other tongues the speaking is part of the beginning but it says began are you here yes. let's see uh, where Peter said the beginning was go to Acts chapter 11 we're talking about knowing the Holy Ghost where's the beginning of knowing the Holy Ghost well you got to know that he's speaking the scriptures to you but then uh, Acts chapter 11 where did Peter say the beginning was Acts chapter 11 verse 15 and as I began to speak the Holy Ghost fell on us, fell on them as on us at the mid portion is that what it said no as on us at the beginning Peter called mm -hmm. them being filled with the Holy Ghost the beginning what was it the beginning of you know this the beginning of the Holy Ghost dispensation that's what he's talking about when did it began it began when the Holy Ghost came into the earth what was the beginning that was the beginning they were filled with the Holy Ghost 
and began here Peter said are you getting this mm -hmm. the Holy Ghost fell on them as on us at the beginning Peter called it the beginning mm -hmm. brother you're still on the beginning I know I want to see how far we can go today Galatians chapter 3 because people have a problem with me saying you must begin with the Holy Ghost and acknowledging him as God can you see how that even if I say that how that kind of messes with your your traditional thinking what did Jesus say raised from the dead Jesus said receive ye the Holy Ghost Galatians chapter 3 verse 3 are you so foolish having begun in the spirit where did you begin where should you have begun in the spirit received ye the spirit verse 2 having begun in the spirit are you now made perfect by the flesh or the amplified says by dependence on the flesh no you're made perfect by continuing to depend on and move along with and walk with the Spirit who is the Holy Ghost you began with the Spirit and you're gonna end up with the Spirit are you here yes. and like I said if you didn't begin the right way there's no possible way you're gonna end up the right way oh and I hear it so often in the tone and in the words of even preachers that I like that they get so far down the road with their doctrine and they're missing it because they don't acknowledge the one who is the one doing all things the Holy Ghost so what did Paul call the beginning received ye the Spirit having begun in the Spirit now most most of you know that when you do receive the Holy Ghost at least in the methods that we understand we receive the Holy Ghost we begin to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gives us utterance speaking in tongues should lead should and would lead to worshiping the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today if it weren't for some terrible doctrine drilled into the body of Christ mm -hmm. are you getting any of this speaking in tongues should lead to the acknowledgement of the one that's who gives you the words when you speak in other tongues you speak as he gives you utterance he who the holy ghost. he the holy ghost is he god yes. is he a person mm -hmm. is he teaching you yes. is he leading you yes. is he anointing you yes. is he guiding you is he quickening you he is god in the earth today and speaking in tongues should lead you to worship him and know him if you didn't have some wacky religious doctrine telling you that you shouldn't worship him and all you got to do is sit there and listen to when I say the words worship the Holy Ghost and if that bothers you then you've got some kind of doctrine in there that needs to be ripped out 99.9% .9 of believers have that doctrine in there mm -hmm. are you here and sometimes it takes a long time to rip out why because it's been rooted in there if you had a big giant tree out in the you know oak tree or something mm -hmm. it's a hundred year old tree is it easy to get out yeah. no what if you tore it down is it gonna make a big open space you mean like missing something everything looks different now speaking in tongues should lead to and would lead to worshiping the Holy Ghost and knowing him as God if it were not for evil religious help should you worship God yes. who is God the Holy Ghost. who wrote the scriptures the Holy Ghost. who's talking to you when you read the scriptures the Holy Ghost. should you worship the God of the scriptures yes see if I phrase it different way should you worship the living God yes you should should you worship the God of the scriptures oh of course but if I say you should worship the Holy Ghost they're like he doesn't speak of himself we're getting farther than I thought we might you all right with that yes see what's exciting about it is if you've been worshiping the Holy Ghost and you know that he talks to you through the scriptures and that he's God we've been talking about knowing the Holy Ghost and we've been talking about the beginning right you got to go to the beginning if you want to start and you want to end up at the right place so let's look at Ephesians 5 17 wherefore be ye not unwise 
Well, let me ask you a question. Who would be writing this and speaking to you right now? This verse of scripture. Holy Ghost. B, does he want you unwise? He says, be not unwise, but understand what the will of the Lord is. What's the will of the Lord? Be ye not drunk with wine. Are you here? Could you preach on that for a while? Be not drunk with wine wherein is excess, but be filled with the Spirit speaking. I like to continue right on there. What's God's will? That you be filled with the Spirit. We began, where was the beginning? Where was the beginning? We began with the Spirit, and then His will is don't be unwise. Or drunk don't be unwise be wise know what the will of the Lord is so where are we going here we're going to be filled with the Spirit speaking how are you filled with the Spirit speaking. speaking now if you know that the Holy Ghost is God to in the earth today are you there yet yes. what's his will that you be filled with him filled with his purpose filled with his plan filled with him mm -hmm. speaking knowing the Holy Ghost and speaking is his will it's his plan it's how we go from the beginning to the end we just get better at it and we get we get more filled with him and more more speaking his words more accurately is this making any sense yeah. So if you know the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you're speaking his words in other tongues or in agreement with his word you are on the right path is this good news yes. I know the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and I walk with him by speaking words I'm on the right path it'll keep me on the right path and I will get to the right destination because I began at the right place and I'm gonna keep going in this direction so the Holy Ghost told me to tell you this you have begun if you know the Holy Ghost is God and you speak with him you have begun what's God's will for you to be filled with the Spirit speaking where should you begin being filled with the Spirit speaking where's his will for you halfway through to be filled with the Spirit speaking are you getting this that's his will for you and if you've done that you have begun <laughs>